Still following the deadly flooding in Larimer County last night, county officials tell us a mother and daughter were killed when their trailer got swept away in the floods. Thank you for joining us for Denver 7 News at 10. I'm Danny New. Larimer County officials say courtesy of preparation, only one home had major damage, but many roads were hit pretty badly. Denver 7's Rob Harris spoke with homeowners in the area who say recovery is going to require all hands on deck. We've seen a few more rain clouds pass through Larimer County this weekend, but thankfully it's nothing as intense as we saw Friday evening. Now people living here and county crews are assessing the damage and cleaning up. These are the normal sounds of Miller Fork Creek, a far cry from its sounds Friday. At that time, it sounded like a roaring, I don't know what. Freight train. A freight train, okay. Linda and Jim Cunningham had a front row seat. They're staying at their friend's place right on the creek. I looked North. out and it's a black, river and it's all kinds of huge waves with logs and boulders. boulders and everything in it. The black color of the water was just one way the Cameron Peak fire made its mark on this flash flood. The speed and intensity of the flood can be blamed on the fire too. When we have a wildfire, the soil changes and it's no longer able to absorb the water like normal soil would for a little while after the fire. It has to get some regrowth behind it. So when water falls on it, it just flows right off. Crews will be working on road repairs for some time. And for the time being, County Road 44H is closed off to all traffic except emergency vehicles. It's hard to have a piece of nice mountain property looking like this. Residents have plenty of cleanup to do too. This will be the third time Michael Markovich cleans out his pond after floods through his property. Oh, it still brings up shock. Even, you know, a couple raindrops anymore, you get your anxiety level rises. It's a lovely place when Mother Nature doesn't cause some havoc like this. County officials tell us we could have an estimate of cost of damage by tomorrow, but they don't expect it to reach the threshold where federal aid would be granted. In Larimer County, I'm Rob Harris for Denver 7. Thank you, Rob.